Are you getting in my face? Are we gonna get in a fight or something? Kind of strange that people are just <clears throat> parked on a roadway. Yeah. Where do people normally uh, park? Are you giving me this thousand yard stare? I'm acting weird, you're acting weird. This is like punching range. Do you want to get closer to me? Welcome back to the Lackluster channel. In April of 2022, I presented a story featuring Travis Hines in which he was railroaded into a conviction for refusing to identify himself while using a library. That video generated nearly $20,000 for his legal defense from generous donors in the audience. His counsel is currently challenging that case and is documented thoroughly on Travis's YouTube channel. But today's video, is another encounter that he endured just recently. In early July of 2022, he found himself in Mason City, Iowa, where he had parked on a public road on the side of a fleet farm. There were no signs indicating that you couldn't park there, but allegedly, the Mason City Police Department claims they received a call complaining about Travis being parked. Officer Tiedemann responded to the scene first and cornered Travis in the open door of his car. Yep, here we are. Hi there. Hi, what's up? How much? How about you? Uh, is there a call? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this that you're parked back here? Or are you living? Yeah, living. Are you living out of your car? You're getting in my face. Are we going to get in a fight or something? Are you okay, man? Well, you just, I mean, there's usually a comfortable distance, you know, people have, and you're just getting in my face. But did they, what, what was the report? Is there like a That you're parked a serious, you've been parked here for days. Yeah, but is there like a, a serious complaint? Or they're just doing like a well, saying that you should check on them as a wealth, as a part of like it's a welfare check? It's just kind of check? strange that people are just <clears throat> parked on a roadway. Oh, strange on, on a roadway? Yeah. Where do people normally uh, park? See this? <clears throat> Where do people normally park? In a parking lot or a campground. Campground? Um, what? Like, there's there's enough for everybody? That the campgrounds like take everybody or something? I mean, I'm just yeah. If you have I'm money, just hanging they, out. They take people, and then Walmart's parking so lot. You, they take anybody. What are you? You trying to push me onto a campground for some reason? Or a parking lot? Just not a parking on a lot? Public road. Well, what's? I didn't see any signs. I mean, I don't understand. What's your name? Tidman? Tiedemann. T-I-E-D-E-M-A-N-N. -E -E mm -hmm. Okay. And you got an M, so you're, uh, that's your first name, I'm sure. Yeah. And an officer, whatever. Yep. Okay. And yeah, you are a city police. You're not, yeah, you're not a uh, deputy. Correct. Right, okay. Yeah, you're um. In Mason City. Okay, yeah. I didn't see any signs that, like, what, what's the regulation about parking on the side of the road? After 72 hours, we'll tow the vehicle. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't been here 72 hours, so, all right. Looks like I'm good. Mason City has several online maps depicting the allotted times for parking in various locations within the downtown area. The city code of ordinances is also located on their website, but nowhere does the code mention a 72-hour restriction on parking. In fact, section 9-7-2 covers parking time limits and makes it unlawful to park in a public parking lot for a period of time exceeding 24 hours. But Travis is on the street, and section 9-10-4 states that a sign must be erected to limit the time a vehicle can be parked on the street, but there is no sign. The website also has a disclaimer that warns that the site may be inaccurate, but even then, Travis hasn't been parked on the street for the length of the officer's concern, so even if there was a call complaining about Travis's presence, which we doubt there was, the interaction and intimidation should have ended here. Instead, the officer decides to escalate the encounter by telling Travis he's acting weird. Are you the registered owner of the car? Yeah, this is my car. Yep. So what's what what's what's with the long stare there? You're giving me this thousand yard stare, like there's. You're acting a dead, weird. I'm acting weird. You're yes. acting weird. You're All right. Weird. All right. I think you're acting weird. You Kidding. think I'm acting weird. All right. I'm telling you how you're acting. You're giving me this thousand yard stare. Yeah, because I'm not. All right. Get, what? Get what how do you think? You. Uh, oh, okay. How do you think I'm acting weird? Uh, by being so standoffish. Standoffish? Well, um, heavy. it's it's a standoffish as in I'm backed into the corner of my door here. You walk up to me like, this is this is like punching range. 
Okay. You okay. just walk so up. Do you want to punch me? Is that your Well, do you your do you want to get closer to me? I mean, I don't understand this this uh, comfort zone that you have. I mean, for a while we had this COVID issue with the six feet thing, and I don't know if you even respected that. Did you wear a mask during COVID? Okay, that's irrelevant to what it we're is? doing here. It is. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're really close to me, and so, I find that, I mean, there was a time where it was relevant. So when did that stop being relevant to you? It's irrelevant now. Yeah, so six, I, I didn't six, ask you, six, I didn't ask you. vaccinations, it's irrelevant. Oh, you got your vaccinations? This doesn't matter? Well, I mean, that does matter for infections. Okay. So, I mean, that yeah. I mean, it doesn't does. matter. I mean, there's, there's uh, there been that scare the whole time with the infections and and uh, how it passes through the air with Is the... that you got anything on back on that plate? Oh, you're calling it in? All right, yeah, I check it out. Plate, yeah. All right, yeah. See what you think of that. What else do you want to do in your investigation? Does it come back out of Washington? <clears throat> All right. How long have you been working here? Five years. All right, yeah, that's, that's a while. You got some experience. Hauling people to jail for whatever. <clears throat> yeah, give me a second. Yeah. Criminal, criminal weird or what? General weird? What do you got? Scientific theory? Officer Tiedemann runs the plates and bin on the car for absolutely no reason. This has been a hot topic of controversy for a number of years. The plate number and VIN are visible to the public. However, the information behind these numbers should be private absent reasonable suspicion of criminal activity or probable cause that the operator or vehicle was used in the commission of a crime. The Supreme Court has ruled time and time again against the people and our rights to privacy. And in the case of running plates, the court currently holds that circumnavigating the Fourth Amendment to obtain identifying information is a minimal Intrusion. It's rulings such as this that will allow for license plate readers and facial recognition software to be used in the future to actively track every citizen as we conduct our business in our everyday lives. It's just another step onto the slippery slope, eroding away our freedoms, perpetrated by law enforcement officers that hide behind the excuse of, I'm just doing my job. Looks like you took your eyes off me for a little bit there. Oh, no, I still got you. Here, here, watch, watch my hands, okay? My hand is going in here. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay, there it is. Okay. Just, I got this, all right? All right. Yeah, get your second car. What else you want to do for your investigation? You checked out my car. You are calling me weird? I don't know how that's a part of an investigation. What do you? Well, what's? What do you want? To, what are you? What criminal? What? I'm auditing now. <laughs> I mean, I just minding my own business. You showed up, and you got a call. Who? Who called you exactly? Was it the park? Was it the farm and fleet? I mean, the mayor. <clears throat> You're waiting on the, the VIN. You're calling in the VIN, too. Yeah, of course, if we can add Travis to the call. Add Travis to the call? Yeah. Uh, Travis, right? The registered what, owner of the vehicle? What, what's the call? I don't... I already told you. It's a parking complaint. The parking complaint? Yeah, and I was going to give you some options. Tell you where our homeless shelter is, but... I mean, this this is uh, this is fine. I mean, there's no... There's no signs that say anything about uh, the problems here or whatever. I mean, I see downtown, there's around the library, because I, I, I went to the library today, mm -hmm. and there's four hour parking on the side of the roads. I mean, I've seen that. You guys are probably a little more strict about that. You're coming out here like it's in the city, like there's. Like there's a pro the city. well, I mean more in the You're center. In the city. Is there a four-hour parking on? The is there a four-hour parking no, on the side of this? Not. Okay, there's a little difference in priority. There's a little more congestion yep. towards the center of the city compared to further out. We're in the city, but I mean there's different levels of activity around the city, and it's a little more busy in the center of the city than it is, is. more on the outskirts. And so I'm, I mean I, I'm avoiding. The, the center of the city. I did go down there. I, I actually bicycled down to the library today. So, 
All right, it's fine with you? All right, great. So how's your investigation going? Are we waiting on somebody then? Oh, they, okay. All right, well, how's your night going for you? Fantastic. All right. We'll see you later, Travis. Yeah, have a good one. The encounter ends there, as Tiedemann's backup arrives on scene for the aggravated parking complaint call. The backup unit then drives in reverse down the street, a much more egregious and dangerous action than parking peacefully on a public roadway. And this becomes just another example of rules for thee, but not for me. Travis's channel will be linked below. Please be sure to head over there if you haven't already, and let him know I sent you. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content, and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick Lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.